video. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Charity. I'm a flight attendant. I travel a lot and I'm also really into fitness. I put out an Instagram poll of which video you would rather me make. One video was five people that you should follow and the other video is what's in my travel suitcase and what's in my travel suitcase one by a landslide. I have layovers in Austin, Philadelphia, and Tampa. So I just packed my bag for that trip. It's in a couple days. And so I'm gonna show you everything that I keep in my suitcase. So here we go. So this is the suitcase that I've been using for probably the past two or three years. It is a Samsonite Sphere Spinner 2. It's pretty basic. It's a basic roller board. Um, I always keep this little hook on it to hook like a Nalgene or hats or anything like that. It's got um, one little zipper here one zipper here and then one main compartment. When I open it, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go through the contents with you, but I just wanted to kind of show you this is what it looks like packed. Got a, a mesh zipper, a zipper that's like plastic in case like things could leak, and then one big main compartment, and then also a little zipper in here that I keep extra nylons because I get a run in my nylons every single trip. So the first thing that I want to say is I pack my bag the same every single time. Everything is always in the same place and this helps me because I unpack and repack my bag so much that this just keeps consistency so I don't lose things, I don't forget things, I don't leave things in hotel rooms. In this very top zipper, the first thing I have in here is this little bag. They are my workout bands. <laughs> so I always travel with two fabric bands which they're made of fabric, but I like to call them my carpet bands because they are literally so strong. It's like they're made of carpet. I travel with two of those, two different lengths, and then I travel with rubber band material uh, bands. I don't use these quite as much, but I do travel with them for some things. In the second zipper on the top of my suitcase, I travel with magazines. These are two magazines that I just picked up in the airport. I've never read either one of these. The only fitness magazine that I have a subscription to is Oxygen and that's because it's not just a bunch of advertisements. It actually has good workouts, good nutrition, good scientific articles that I really enjoy. So that's the only like actual subscription I have. Also in this pouch, I have a required item for my job. This is just the charger to the little iPad that I have to use on board to sell things. I also travel with a purse. So on layovers, if I wanna go out somewhere or do something, I travel with this. These are just two required items that I have to carry as a flight attendant, just some emergency checklists and medical checklists that I have to travel with. In the inside of my suitcase, in this section here, I just keep hairspray. That way if it explodes in my bag, it doesn't go all over the place. And then inside this little mesh pocket, I keep, I'll show you. I keep a picture of Cody and I from our wedding. Also in here, I just have a Tide pen. I have some sleep gummies. This is kind of just like a catch-all section. I have like a foot mask, a face mask, and my deodorant. In the main section of my bag, on the very top, I keep this bag. And I keep my white Birkenstocks in there. So these are really lightweight. They're great to travel with. You'll be very surprised by how quickly your bag adds up in weight. So I try to bring the lightest weight things. So I bring these white Birkenstocks pretty much on all my layovers. I use them by the pool. I'll walk around in them. I'll go out in them. So they always stay right on top and I always keep my shoes in a bag because I'm not trying to get my suitcase masked. For four days, these are all the clothes that I bring. This is it. I pack really, really light, or at least I try to. I bring a shirt that I sleep in. I bring a pair of athletic shorts that if I just wanna lounge around in the hotel room, or if I wanna go down to like breakfast, I'll throw those on. I bring one tank top. If I wanna go down to the pool, I'll throw this over my bathing suit with these long shorts. A pair of workout shorts, which I got these at TJ Maxx. These are brand new and I'm obsessed with them. I actually wanna go back and get another pair. I bring a black tank top to work out in. I have a blue little crop top to work out in. One shirt that's terribly wrinkled, but I will iron it. I bring one shirt that I can like if I want to go out to like breakfast or dinner or something that's just like kind of decent looking. By no means is this like fancy and nice but if I want to go do something or go hang out with a friend on a layover it's very versatile and I can wear it to a lot of different places. 
I always bring one t-shirt that's like kind of comfy cozy I can lounge in. I can throw this on to go down to like a continental breakfast. I bring one pair of shorts. They're kind of big and loungy and just like oversized but they're my favorite Levi's and I can't get rid of them. They are the 501s and I love these because there's no stretch. It is so hard to find pants without stretch and these are like one of the only pairs of real denim out there and I just don't want to buy a new pair in my size. Next to that, I pack this little Lisa Frank bag. This is full of like makeup, hair ties, some like face scrub, stuff like that. I have another little bag that's all my toiletries. So I don't use any of like the body wash or like shampoo, nothing at hotel rooms. It's all just trash, garbage, and it'll ruin your skin, ruin your hair. So I bring all my own shampoo, all of my own conditioner, body wash. There is a little tub of coconut oil in here. And I put coconut oil on my skin after every single shower. It's the only thing that really moisturizes my skin and it's paraben free. I keep all my toiletries in here. That way, if they do explode in the plane, they're in a little plastic cactus bag that this bag can get dirty and it's not gonna completely explode and ruin anything in my suitcase. Next to that, I just have this little trashy glasses box. I got these from iBuyDirect. And so I specifically bought a pair of glasses that I could just keep in my suitcase. I don't transport these to and from. Mostly everything in my suitcase is for my suitcase. So a lot of things in life I have double of, but it just makes it so much easier to not have to be moving things in and out of my bag. And that always creates potential for forgetting something important. These Urban Outfitters bags are my favorite to put my shoes in. So inside of this, I have my running shoes. They're called ON, they're a Swiss brand. I really love these shoes. I love the design of them. I can wear them in the gym, but then I can also wear them if I go out somewhere on a layover and they don't look too athletic. Inside of them, I keep a pair of socks that I work out in. One thing I will say about these shoes is that I love the design. I love how they fit. I love that they have these little bungee cord shoelaces so you can just slip them on, but I don't like the soles of them. So this design looks really cool, looks cool from the side, but this line down the middle, if you run outside, you're getting twigs and rocks stuck in this, and then you have to stop every few feet, pick them out, otherwise your foot's like totally uneven. That's the only thing I don't like about these, but they work for me on layovers because I mostly work out inside the hotel gym or run on the treadmill so they work just fine. So I travel with this small tiny little straightener. I don't typically straighten my hair but if I have like a crazy curl that's like going straight out of my head then I will use this. Even though I don't adhere to the three ounce rule, I can bring big full-size bottles of shampoo and conditioner and body wash, perfume and whatever everything that I bring, I still bring in all the travel bottles and I'll just refill it with stuff at home or I'll buy a small straightener because it's smaller, it's lighter and it takes up less space. So I bring this Adidas hat on every single layover. I will throw this on at almost every single morning that I go to breakfast. And I also work out in hats sometimes. However, I have been finding that if I work out in a hat too much, I start breaking out all over my forehead. Does anyone else have this problem or is it just me? I'm washing my face when I come home. I'm exfoliating. I don't know. So I have to be really careful about working out in a hat, but I bring a hat on every layover. So I also bring a sports bra. This is by the brand 90 degree and it's like kind of textured and ribbed. I love this sports bra. It's my absolute favorite. And it was like $7.99 from TJ Maxx and I'm obsessed with it. And I have like much more expensive sports bras that I've gotten from like um, Gymshark or Lululemon and like this is my favorite sports bra. I also bring my bathing suit in this little plastic bag. I put them in this plastic bag so A, my neon bathing suit won't get dirty in my suitcase if something else touches it or has dirt on it, but I also bring it that way if it's wet I can just wrap it right up in this plastic bag and it's not going to get the rest of my things wet until I can hang it up. Right now I've been rocking this little yellow, these yellow bottoms and this ribbed blue top. I got these both at Aerie and both of them were like $6 each. I have no idea how I hit the jackpot on that, but I've been obsessed with neon and to get both of these for like six bucks was kind of insane. I also bring my wireless headphones on every single layover. I work out with these and then I also lay by the pool with them. I use this brand called Plantronics. These are the 3100 series and I've had other headphones by them that I've absolutely loved. I love this brand. It's kind of, 
It's not very well known, but I used to work for Apple and we sold these and I love them. I'm a huge supporter of this brand. I don't like Beats by Dre. They have too much bass. I don't want to work out in ear pods. The reason being is because these are not only water resistant, but they have this um, silicone over them and they're over the ear over the ear, which I like because when working out, I need something that's gonna stay in place and not fall off. Last thing in my suitcase, I bring my Bible and I bring my utmost for his highest, which is a little devotional by Oswald Chambers. This is just like a little daily devotional that I try to do like every morning or like if I'm on the plane, try to read a little devotional. Yeah, so that's everything that I pack in my bag. It's a little vulnerable to go with my bag but um, I hope that gives you some insight. I hope this was kind of interesting of what I pack on a work trip. I also travel with like this big lunchbox that I pack food in and I pack books in and electronics and other things like that. So if you're interested in seeing what I pack in that second travel bag, then let me know. What I pack for a work trip is very different than what I pack for say if I'm going to Europe or if I'm going on vacation. So if you want to see another video of what I pack when I like travel on my off time, I can do something like that. But this is specifically what I travel with when I'm working as a flight attendant and going on layovers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope I see you next time. Goodbye.